Okay, let's go then, round three. One chain to bring us up to the height for this round. Double crochet in the next two stitches. This is a good round. There's, um, it's mostly double crochet and it's mostly straightforward, really, I think. Um, so there we go. Double crochet into that little space that we made before that treble. Ignore the treble. Double crochet in the space next to it. Um, and now we're going to do 14 double crochet just straight along. 1, 13 and 14. And that brings us up to the corner stitch. Okay, and we're going to make three double crochet in that corner. And I'm going to cheat here because I'm going to put my stitch marker in after I've made that second one because we need that going forward. So just going to save me a bit of time counting and whatnot later. My stitch marker is going into the second of the three. There's the three. All right. Okay, turning around the corner, we're going to do 14 double crochet again. Okay, 14. We're back at that little point where we put that treble in. So one double crochet in the gap before, one in the gap after, and nothing in the treble itself. Okay, and one double into the next seven. So you can see this one is really good and straightforward, isn't it? Seven. Okay, we're now at the corner space. And what we're going to put in, <coughs> excuse me, what we're going to put in this corner space is five double crochet. So I'm going to do that little trick again and put my stitch marker in the third of them because it will be easier. One, two, three. Put that in now. Okay. Four and five. That's our corner done. Double crochet into the next seven, five, six, and seven. And we are now back at our repeat. We can start our repeat again by working our one double crochet into that chain space, missing the treble, one into that space, and so on. Okay, so this is a good, reasonably straightforward round so I'm going to go ahead and finish that and see you at the end ready for the beginning of um, round four but I'm going to go ahead and do that little trick with the stitch markers as I work okay okay so I'm on the last um the last part of the repeat and when I'm coming to the end of this round I omit two double crochet um on the on the um repeat so where it ends up on seven double crochet. I've actually only done five double crochet and I am ready to slip stitch into the first double crochet to join the round. Now, because I did that little cheaty thing, my stitch markers, how <laughs> smug I sound there, my stitch markers are already in place. So we've nothing else to do on this round and we're finished now with parchment. So I'm gonna skip, snip that yarn, pull it through. And again, our square is growing beautifully and it's very square. It's very square now. So I'm going to sew in those um, ends and we're going to move on to round four. We're going to put a little bit of colour in, so that'll be nice, won't it? 